Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to give you guys a couple of tips on how you can make your soccer cleats slash football boots last a little bit longer. So without further ado, we'll get right into the video. The first tip that I have for you guys is pretty straightforward. It's just simple maintenance. Giving your shoes a quick clean every once in a while and just letting them dry after every single playing session is really going to help to increase the lifespan of your soccer shoes. Now when I say give them a clean every once in a while, I'm not implying that you should clean them after every single use, but every once, every week, sorry, every two weeks, um, whenever you deem it's necessary that the shoes do deserve a little bit of a cleaning, whether it be because of buildup of mud, grass stains, or whatever it may be, um, it's definitely not going to hurt the shoe to give it a quick clean every once in a while. Maintenance is another thing to consider. If you're playing in synthetic shoes, it's generally not that big of an issue, but if your shoes are made from a natural leather upper, it is important to apply leather cream every couple of weeks just to allow the leather to kind of maintain its softness and stay hydrated. And again, like I mentioned, letting your shoes dry after every single playing session is very, very important. It's not good for the durability of the boot to play when your shoes are wet. So after you've used them, take them out of your bag let them dry and make sure they're dry before you use them again. The second tip that I have for you guys is probably one of the more common reasons why some people do have issues with durability and their soccer cleats. Um, and that is wearing the right type of stud pattern on the right type of playing surface. Now for those of you guys that have been subscribed to me for a little bit longer, you've probably heard me talk about this a number of times in several separate videos. Um, but I'm going to talk about it one more time in this video. Um, for example, if you buy a pair of firm ground soccer shoes, they're intended to be used on firm natural grass playing surfaces and nothing else. But probably the most common situation is people buy firm ground stud patterns to play on artificial grass or turf or whatever type of synthetic man-made plane surface it may be. Now when you do something like this, not only are you putting your own safety at risk just because most firm ground stud patterns tend to be a little bit unsafe on artificial grass, some more than others, some less than others I would say as well, but not only is it a little bit unsafe, but you're also exposing this firm ground soccer shoe to elements that it was not designed to handle, whether it be excessive heat, the extreme clinginess and abrasiveness of the artificial grass, all of this kind of factors in for making a recipe for disaster when it comes to the durability of your soccer shoes. So using firm ground stud patterns on artificial grass or just using the wrong type of stud pattern on the wrong type of playing surface in general is kind of you asking for trouble when it comes to durability. There's a reason why all of these companies produce AG, FG, SG, indoor, turf, all these different types of stud patterns and sole plates because they really are designed for one type of playing surface, not multiple types of playing surface. So if you buy a soft ground soccer shoe and use it on really hard natural grass, you're going to run into some issues not only with discomfort, not only with safety, but also with durability. So if you're playing on firm ground, buy firm ground shoes. If you're playing on artificial grass, buy AG shoes. If you're playing on soft ground, buy soft ground shoes. It's just that simple. The third and final tip that I have for you guys is probably the only surefire way to guarantee a longer lifespan out of your soccer shoes, and that is simply getting a second pair. If you're playing a lot of soccer, if you're putting a lot of hours on one single pair, the only way you can make that one pair last longer is dividing those hours in half by putting half of those hours on a second pair of soccer shoes. Now this tends to be somewhat of an unpopular opinion, mainly because a lot of people kind of complain about buying a second pair, they don't have the budget for it, or they want to spend their entire budget on a really expensive pair of shoes. But there really are some great deals on some low cost, lower end shoes. I'm not saying that you need two $200 pairs of shoes, um, but I'm saying if you have an expensive pair of shoes that you're trying to extend the lifespan of, um, it's definitely worth it to invest in something a little bit cheaper, maybe one to use at practice, one to use in games. And it's not only going to extend the life of the first pair, but it's also going to extend the life of the second pair. So a shoe that would last hypothetically for one year would last for two years instead because you're dividing those hours in half. Now just to kind of argue this opinion a little bit more, I think a great example or a great analogy would be um, an iPhone or a cell phone in general. I just said iPhone just because it tends to be um, one of the more popular phones out there. Everybody who buys an iPhone buys a case for their phone. A lot of people also buy a screen shield. That is an extra investment on top of an already expensive investment 
because you're trying to preserve that original investment. And the same goes for buying a second pair of soccer shoes. If you spend $200 on a shoe that you intend to get at least one year's worth of play out of, it's probably worth the investment to spend $50 or $60 on a second pair to preserve that initial investment. And that's really the way you have to look at this particular situation. Another kind of uh, dilemma that a lot of people have is they play half their games on firm ground and half their games on artificial grass. What type of stud pattern should they buy? The answer to that question is two pairs. One firm ground pair and one artificial grass pair. It may be a little bit more expensive at first, but you're not going to run into durability issues because that firm ground pair is going to be most durable on firm ground and that AG pair is going to be most durable on artificial grass. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. You're cutting the hours in half on both shoes and they're going to last longer because of it. All right, guys, that's it for my tips on how you can make your shoes last a little bit longer. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to support it with a like. If you guys do have any other tips to add or any questions that you'd like to ask me regarding these tips, feel free to leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. Um, you can check out all of my social media links down below in the description. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks for watching.